Um, that was awesome, wasn't it? That speech? Um, I, you know, I can't imagine having anything like that kind of presence, that ability at that age. Um, and really, it's, Emery, it's people like you and your courage um, and all the other wonderful students here who are our next generation of leaders who are going to make our struggle less of a struggle. <laughs> nah. um, so it's my honor to introduce my friend John Stryker tonight. And we were talking beforehand because I was trying to figure out how long I've known John. And I was saying almost two decades, and we figured it out. And it's 17 years, so I feel younger already. Um, <laughs> But it was at the start of his philanthropic career, and Ar Arcus hadn't been created yet. And that was an amazing thing to do, to express your commitment in a way, and not a small way. Because I remember back when I started getting involved in philanthropy, which was around the time of Amendment 2 and, and the Hawaii thing, when, when people that had money didn't give it away to LGBT causes. They gave it away, but not to our own community. And it has changed. It has changed because of the commitment of people like John Stryker. Um, and we all owe him a great debt. And in fact, I think he is probably surprised by the things he's accomplished. And I think we would all be surprised by the things that he's accomplished that we may never know about. So John is getting the Visionary Award. And so I was thinking about what it means to be a visionary as I was preparing my remarks. And I decided that it could be expressed as negatives because of things that it is not. And I think the key negative is that it is not doing what everybody else does. Because what everybody else does is the average. It's the definition of the average. And in order to really excel, you have to do something else. And the other thing it's not is being afraid to invent. Because in the end, it's what you invent, the things you try that no one else has tried, the things you do in a different way that give you the chance for incredible success. And I think finally it's not being afraid of failure because no one gets it right every time. And those things are qualities that we do not have enough of and we need to nurture in anyone anytime we see them. You know, over the 17 years I've known John, we've plotted together, we've schemed, We've hiked and got incredibly wet. We have skied. Actually, he has skied and I have snowboarded, but he does not discriminate. Um, and we've rewarded the good and punished the wicked. And those are the things that define John Stryker. It is his commitment, his caring, and we would be a community that was much worse off were he not with us. Um, oh, I did it. I just scared myself. Um, <laughs> stage fright is a terrible thing. Um, so John and his equally spectacular husband, Slo, have been our friends for a long, long time now. He's funny. He's irreverent. Um, and he's one of the best human beings you will ever be privileged to meet. So I would like to bring up John, if we could, the recipient of the 2015 Visionary Award.